IndyCar this season has seen an influx of young talent keen to take on the old guard. Among the new faces is 22-year-old Spencer Piggott. As 2015 Indy Lights champion, he's earned a scholarship guaranteeing him three races with Ray Hal Letterman Lanigan Racing. The team's credentials are strong. Run by racing legend Bobby Ray Hal, his son Graham took two victories last season to take fourth in the championship. It's fantastic to be a part of this team. You know, they're coming off such a great season last year with Graham, and Bobby has won the Indy 500, so there's you know, no one really better to talk to for advice about that race. And uh, yeah, we're just really happy to be a part of the team and uh, looking forward to learning as much as I can and hopefully having a long relationship with them. Pickett's journey to IndyCar has a lot to do with the Mazda Road to Indy program, helping young racers rise through the categories with a series of scholarships awarded for the brightest of talent. I've been fortunate. I think I've won four of their scholarships and it's really kept my career going because there were times where you know, it was make or break this season. If we don't win the championship, then you know, I might have to go find something else to do. But winning the scholarship, getting that funding to move up was just, you know, vital. Pickett has made the most of his opportunities with title wins in the Skip Barber National Championship, Pro Mazda, and most importantly, the prestigious Indy Lights crown secured at the final round. The last weekend of the championship, we came in second in the championship and you know, really had to go out and, and win two races to get it done. And we were at Mazda Raceway and I was driving uh, the Mazda scholarship car. So, you know, being able to win the two races there in the championship was just, uh, you know, a feeling I'll never forget. Helping him celebrate his Indy Lights championship were his parents. And his father in particular has had a big influence on his career. You're an Indy car driver, you know? I got into racing through my dad. He used to race Formula Ford in the 70s and 80s in England against you know Nigel Mansell and Derek Daly and guys like that. So he's always been a huge race fan. He's always worked in racing and just got my passion from there and started racing cars when I was nine and just uh, been doing it ever since. With a limited IndyCar program, Piggott is keen to gain as much racing experience as possible. And he's also been driving some races in Mazda's prototype car in the IMSA WeatherTech Championship. Yeah, it's a very important opportunity as I transition from Indy Lights into IndyCar. This is much similar to IndyCar in terms of the size of the operation. You know, there's a lot of people here, it's a big team, you have pit stops, there's a lot more stuff going on in the car that you have to think about other than just driving. So it's definitely a good learning experience for me to, to hopefully do well in my uh, debut in IndyCar. The rookie's IndyCar career got underway in March's St. Petersburg race. The Florida local took a respectable midfield finish, beating the likes of XF1 driver Max Chilton to the flag. But it's the month of May that he's most looking forward to. I can't wait for the Indy 500. I mean, it's the race I've always wanted to be a part of. I've always loved for as long as I can remember. And, you know, just the biggest race in the world. And as an American, there's so much history in the race. It's going to be the 100th running of the race. And to be a part of it is uh, just a dream come true. If Piggott continues to work hard and learn from those around him, perhaps he can go on to emulate one of his heroes from the world of IndyCar and endurance racing. There's a lot of good drivers here that I've watched for a long time. Being an IndyCar fan, Scott Dixon's racing here. He's a four-time champion. And, uh, if I could have a career half as good as his, that'd be pretty neat. My goal is just to do as well as we can. If we can break into the top ten, I think that'd be great. And really just to learn as much as I can and do as well as I can, hopefully get a few more races this year and you know maybe a full-time season in 2017.